thanks of your love towards us. Jesus, we honor you. We honor your name because you are good. Let's begin to lift our voice and begin to bless you, Jehovah. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Let's worship him. Let's give that praise to the Lord. Let's give that honor to the King. Let's thank him. Let's worship him. Let's bless the Lord. Let's begin to bless the Jehovah God. For the Lord is good and his mercies endure forever. Let's lift our voice and thank him. Let's lift our voice and worship him. Let's begin to thank the Lord. Let's thank him. Let's worship Jehovah God. For the Lord is good and his mercies endure forever. Let's begin to bless the name of our God. Great God, we worship you. Almighty God, we thank you. Faithful God, we honor you. For you alone, you are worthy of our praise. For you alone, you are worthy of honor. We thank you, O God. Let's begin to bless Jehovah. Let's begin to bless Jehovah. Let's begin to bless Jehovah. Let's begin to worship the Lord. Let's begin to honor the Lord Almighty. Worthy is the Lamb of God. Worthy is the Lamb of Jehovah. Let's thank Him. Let's honor Him. Let's give that praise to Him. Hosanna to our God. Hosanna to the King. We honor your name. Somebody honor the name of our God. Let's worship the Lord. Let's bless Him. Let's say, Daddy, you are good and your mercies endure forever. Daddy, you are good and your mercies endure forever. Daddy, you are kind and your mercies endure forever. Daddy, you are faithful and your mercies endure forever. Let's give that praise and honor to God Almighty. Let's show our love before our God. Let's thank Him. Let's thank Him for the journey of our life. Let's say, Daddy, we just want to thank you. We just want to say thank you, God. We just want to say thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We just want to say thank you, Everlasting Father. We just want to say thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody thank Him. Give that praise and honor to Him. Give that honor to Jehovah God. Ah, my Yakatsuta Lava Tikalaba. Lift your voice, bless the Lord, bless Him. Let's give that praise. Let everything that our breath praise Him. Let everything that have breath worship the Lord. Let everything that have breath honor Jehovah. Honor Jehovah God. Let's lift our voice in honor to Him. In praise to Jehovah God. Let's celebrate Jesus. Lord, you are good. Ah, Lord, you are kind. Lord, you are wonderful. So worship the Lord from the bottom of your heart. Let us give that praise and honor to him. Thank you, Jesus, for the grace of your love. Thank you, Jesus, for the grace of your power. Thank you, Jesus, for the grace of your spirit. In our life, in our home, let's lift our voice and bless Jehovah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We thank you for grace. We thank you for power. We thank you for your spirit in our life. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Worship the Lord from the bottom of your heart. Let us give that praise to him. Let us give that honor to him. Father, we thank you. Jehovah God, we honor you. Father, we lift our voice before thee. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you, Jehovah. We honor you. We give you glory. We give you adoration. We give you glory. We give you adoration because you are wonderful. Oh, you are oh, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy of all our praise. You are worthy of honor, glory, and power. We thank you, Jehovah. Somebody lift a voice before God this morning and say, Lord, you are the reason that I'm standing. 
You are the strength of my life. You are all in all through me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Is walking through you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Our everlasting Father, we give that praise to you. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Psalm 109, verse 1 says, Hold not thy peace, O God. Hold not thy peace, O God, of my praise. I want you to lift your voice that you should not hold your peace. You should not hold your praise before the Lord this morning. Let's give that our praise back to him. Honor God that is good. From the beginning of the of this year to this month, is the one that is with you. Is one fighting your battle. Is one doing great things in your life. So let's give back to him all glory that he deserved. Let's honor the Lord. He said, bless the Lord. Bless ye the Lord. Bless the man that feareth the Lord, that delight greatly in his command. The Bible says we should bless the Lord. How do you do that? You bless the Lord by counting your blessing. You bless the Lord with your gift also. That's how you bless the Lord. You bless the Lord by counting your blessing. Counting your blessing, what God has done for you. And you will bless him. He said we should not hold our praise. Let's give that praise back to him. He deserve it. Lord, you deserve it. You deserve it. I am a mama shandia. I am a kushandia. I am a kushun to live. Open your heart to pray. Lift your voice to God. He deserve it. Oh, Lord, you deserve it. Lord, you deserve it. I am a sutu to 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 paratata. Ye katalaba ye ke basutu kumaye. Lord, we thank you. Oh, ma chica, ta 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 ta. Ma chito, go bring the kettle in. Ma chito, to to kalaba. In a room, you are the Lord, little boys. On earth, you reign forever. Oh Lord. of all, blessed be your name, in every night, who you are, the Lord, on earth, on earth, you reign forever, Jehovah.
Father, we worship you. Oh, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Can you lift your voice and praise to him? Father, we thank you this morning. We give that praise back to you. Father, we honor you. Lift your voice and thank him. Father, we honor your name because you are good. Somebody bless the name of the Lord. Father, we honor your name because you are kind. We thank you for the grace of your love towards us. We lift our voice in praise and honor to you, O God. For you alone, you are worthy of praise and power and glory. We thank you, Lord, for that grace of your love towards us this morning. We lift our voice in praise to you. Somebody thank him and give that praise to the Lord. Let's thank him for what the Lord is doing. Let's thank him for what you all but God is doing in your life. Let's bless his holy name. Give that praise to him. Give that honor to him. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we honor you. We worship you. Glorify the name of our God. Thank him, bless the name of our Lord. And say thank you, O God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Celebrate Jesus. Thank him, bless the Lord. Somebody praise him. Jesus is the Alpha and Omega of your life, is the beginning of all things, is the great King, loving God. Open your heart to God. Lancando Rimashika Labaha. Open your heart to God. Lift your voice to Him. Let's celebrate Jesus. My Lord and my King. We thank you. In Jesus' name. Our Lord, we pray. Let's begin to ask the King of Kings to forgive every sin in our heart. Let's open our heart before the Lord. Let's agree with God. That very sin in our life. That very sin in our heart. You see, if I that sin. Not confess it before him. He said, The Lord will not hear. And that's what Saul did. Saul don't want to agree with his sin. Assuming that he agreed with his sin, maybe God will forgive him. I believe God will forgive him if Saul should have a repentant heart. Look at what he said to Saul, to Samuel. Please don't let these people, you know, just let us cover these things up. And. Uh, let us make it like never happened. Just follow me to our worship to sacrifice before the Lord so people will not know that uh, things have happened. When the sin was revealed to David, he said, you are the person right away, tore his cloth and begin to confess that sin. Before. He said, I have sinned. Go and look, Psalm 51, that's the confession 
of David over his sin. Let's agree with God with our sin this morning. That we have sinned against him. Lord, I have sinned against your word. I am a sinner. I am a sinner. I have sinned against you. Oh, Mananda Yabakayaba. Lagadabasi Kirigo. Lord, I have sinned. Lord, I have sinned against your word. I acknowledge my wrongdoing. And I ask for forgiveness of that very sin. Lord, I acknowledge my sin before you. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to God. Acknowledge your sin before God. The Lord God, in open your heart to God, that the Lord God of heaven to forgive those sins and cleanse me. Father, forgive me. Daddy, forgive me, O God. Jehovah God, forgive me, O God. Not only that God should forgive me, let your spirit be upon my heart. Let's pray that not only that God should forgive you of your sin, let's ask the Lord that the spirit of him to fill our heart. Not only that God should forgive us of our iniquity, let's ask the spirit of him to come and reign in the name of Jesus. Let's open our heart before the Lord. Not only that God of heaven to forgive you, that very sin, tell him to give you power over it. Oh, my seed of Akandaya, Londori Meshin de Lebo. Open your heart to pray in the name of Jesus. Open your heart to Jesus, the Lord God of heaven, to give you power over that sin. Open your heart to pray. Lift your voice and talk to God. My Lord and my God, in the name of Jesus, give me power over that sin. Give me that power over that flesh. The power is available. Through the Holy Spirit of God, Holy Spirit of God, come into me. Ah, Makanda Yaba, Luzun Tori Meshe. Open your heart to God. Holy Spirit of God, come and fill my heart. Holy Spirit of God, come and fill my life. Can we pray for the Holy Spirit of God to come? In His power, in our heart. In His power, in our life. Let's pray for Holy Spirit of God. Amba Yeku Lobo Shandia. Rabado Roboshinde. Open your heart to God. Holy Spirit of God. Le paro busunto kuraba. La prendo sike lebo. Manenke rebasin kurubo. Le canta la basante lebo. Mazuko tole meke lebo. Mateke rabasike lebo. Mateke lebo. Matere machindo leba. Araba kunto le mesente. Somebody pray that prayer. Holy Spirit of God. Come into my heart. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, come into my heart. Holy Spirit of God, come and fill me. Somebody pray that Holy Spirit of God to come in the name of Jesus. To come into your heart, to come and fill you in the name of Jesus. To come and reign in your life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. pray. First Thessalonica chapter 5, verse 23. First Thessalonica First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23. Say, now, may God of peace. Look at it. Look at this very word. Now, may God of peace. So, God is about things of peace. Where there is confusion, where there is division, where there is no unity, God is not in it. So, God wants us to it's a seek peace with all men. And listen, when we are seeking peace, you, you give up your right. Sometimes we hold on to our right and cause things to continue. So Jesus, Jesus gave us his right so he can return us back to God. The Bible says he put off his glory. He only put off the, the splendor of him, not the divinity of him. The divinity of God remained the same, even though as on earth, being God himself. But he put on the glory of it. He put on the glory of it, but still remained the divinity, being God. That's why he's telling them, I am that I am. Telling the Jew that I am that I am. Telling them just to realize, I am God. What God can do, I can do it. But he put on the glory, the splendor of his glory. He put it off. But he still remained. So, when God is telling you, make, so you give up sometimes, oh, I'm the one that is right to seek peace. 
Oh, but pastor, what are you talking about? The person will take me as a fool. You have to be a fool for Christ. That's what God wants us to do. God wants us to be a fool for him. So you can be wise. Hello? It's not sometimes people will, I know people will try to match on us. People will try to take advantage of you. But as a child of God, he lets our talking things go. Just to bring peace. Because in the peace is where God dwells. This is how our prayer can be answered. This is how God can respond to our needs when we surrender certain things in love before the Lord, in obedience to God's word. Look at what it says in verse 23. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23. It says, Now may God of peace make you holy. Who is making you holy? Circle that word in your scripture. Who is making you holy right there? May God of peace make you God is one making you holy. Hallelujah. To blow to him. To the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed for your life. It's you, it's him that will make you holy. Oh, so, so Pastor, I don't have to do any effort in it. It requires with your love to show your effort in God. But your effort is not enough. Yes, your effort is needed. So the effort of Holy Spirit is that will come into have you ever seen that all this while we are trying to do you're trying to do certain things you can't do it paul made it clear to us he said what i love is not what i'm doing but when holy spirit comes into your heart he makes you to do what god wants you to do he said may god of peace make you holy in every way may god he's not, he's not telling you he said may god may the god of peace make you Make is one making you is and it can only be holy. God can see you through the blood of Jesus Christ, through the Son of Jesus Christ, that can make you to be holy, not not your own righteousness, you can't do it through the blood of the Lamb, seeing that blood of Jesus Christ. So God don't see you, He see Christ. Make you holy in every way and make your your own spirit. And soul and body keep blameless until our Lord Jesus Christ come again. Make your body, your soul, and everything blameless. Look at that word, blameless without sin. How are you going to do that? Is that not the word of God I told you? If you say you don't have a sin, you are a liar. So, how do you become blameless now? How do you now become blameless? Now, by being blameless from sin, is through Christ the Son. That's why this Christ must be the center of our life. Because he's the one that start the work. He's the one that finished the work in you. He's the one that start the work of salvation in you. And also he's the one that will finish it. Not you. It's not, the, it's not you that start the work. Do you, do, do you think you gave your life to Christ? He gave himself for you first. His response to what he gave is what your soul has surrendered. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and pray to God. Say, God of peace, make me holy. Oh, let it work in you. See, Kabayama Taya. Lord, God of peace. He said, Make me. I am Makob. Make me holy. In the Yama Sunday, the Lord. Open your heart to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. In every day, God of peace, make me holy. God of peace, make me holy. Somebody pray that God of peace to make you holy. That God of peace, make me holy. Every day, in Kapayaba, in my word, in my life, open your heart to pray. In my heart, in my ways, in my doing, Holy Spirit, make me holy. Let it begin that work to you. In Diana Koshantiaba, to make you holy. In the name of Jesus, my Father, God of peace, make me holy for you. I came aside. In Jesus' name. We pray, if a child of God, we do sin. A child of God do sin. But the difference is, a child of God cannot enjoy sin. If you are still, you are enjoying sin, and you are proud of it, there is no remorse, no repentance of heart, whenever we sin. 
I mean, we need to begin to check our salvation. Are we really saved for real? It's not that, oh, oh, so now when you are born again now, are you not going to be, you're going to sin? But we don't live in sin. That's what different between a born again child of God and the people of the world. The people of the world, they're proud of it. It's okay. Everybody is doing that. Okay. But that is a sin. But come on, man. Leave that alone. It's not a sin. I'm enjoying myself. Show me in the Bible. So you just try to guide, see, guide yourself. Say all kind of show me in the Bible. The Bible don't say that. Come on, leave me alone. People know that God never exists. What kind of God are you talking about? I, I don't believe in that nonsense. What God may be telling you? What kind of stuff? You just want to defend those things just to suit yourself. That's a heart that never submit to God. But now a heart that submit to God when sin being revealed, like David. Lord, I have sinned. See the two out of two people going to the temple. I'm not like that man. Even though he said he's a sinner. I'm not like that man. That the Pharisee, the, the tax collector, that is taking money, people's money. But never realize also he's doing the same thing in the temple. To the name of God. Robbing people too. Showing up in the open place that is a spiritual person. But, uh, but the Bible says the person that cannot look God went out before God being justified. So, what God needs for a child of God is to surrender. So, how do you know you are safe when sin is not something you enjoy? It's not something you love. They say you forgive. You forgive. You see, a wrong thought comes into your heart. They say, no. You do something wrong. Ah, your heart, you know, Holy Spirit that is in, convict your heart. You know, a child of God, the Holy Spirit will convict your heart. That's the, that's the convict of, of our sin. So do you know that that very thing is wrong? And how do you feel when the Holy Spirit tells you? Do you know that very thing is wrong? Ah, come on, leave me alone. Come on, leave me alone. I don't, I, don't tell me that. But oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Shaking, oh, hallelujah. You surrender to him. Now, him is going to make you holy through the blood of Jesus by watching you, lifting up. Hallelujah. So that's how you know. That you are a truly child of God. So the evidence must be there. That you are a child of God. You see, there is no condemnation in our heart. Hallelujah. You must be a, you must know. The child of God will know. If, if someone that is born of the Spirit, of God, he will know that something has entered into you. You will know. People can be in the church. Don't mean something has entered into them. Salvation has entered into their life. Even though people can be in the doing wrong things out there now, but salvation has entered into their heart. Say, Pastor, you are telling somebody in the beer parlor do all kind of stuff. Yes. Salvation has entered into that person's heart. Now, it's to yield to the salvation. And someone can be in the church and salvation has never entered. Is that not the very boy that was looking to that testimony of that very good guy? You see, that very guy that is robbing people. He said he never used any medicine, never believed in charm, never do anything. But he's robbing. He's doing bad things. He's doing. But he never believed in medicine, you know. But he knows. He said one day he was just thinking about his life. He was in front of his house, thinking of his wrongdoing. He's a thief. He's a robber, killing people. This guy is killing. The police is looking for him. He said, but in the this morning he was in the front of his house, thinking of his wrongdoing. Ah, who are you, Rumbe? And somebody can be in the church, and salvation can never enter his heart. Salvation enter into the, the, right, the thief at the right hand. But salvation never enter into that one. Look, look at the excuse. Both of them abused God. At one point, one repented of his sin, he changed his heart and look unto God. Say, can, can my prayer answer? Pastor, I don't need that. Let's go to breakthrough. This is how your prayer is going to be answered. When you know who the, your God, when you have the understanding of the ways of God, it's not about, oh, Father, finish them. Set the fire upon them. When you have the understanding of the word of God and revelation of the things of God come upon you, it opens your eyes, it opens your spirit mind. So you can be able to lift up your voice before God and God is going to answer you speedily. I pray salvation will enter into our heart. Jesus said to Zacchaeus, today, even though before he repented of his sin, but his heart was longing to see Jesus Christ. Even before he became say, oh, I'm going to give half 
of my property to these people. Remember, when because his heart was longing to see Jesus Christ. His heart was yearning, I want a new life. Remember, he's a bad man. That people ate in the community. They ate him. They ate him. But his heart was longing. A short man. And he went on the tree to see Jesus Christ. And Jesus said to him, Today, salvation enter into your house. When salvation enter, before he begins to say, Oh, Jesus, listen, I'm going to give half of everything. Even if I have robbed you. That's how you know salvation enter into someone's heart. Then he wants a totality of God. Today, salvation will enter into your heart. In the name of Jesus. Salvation will enter into our spirit. Today, salvation will enter into our soul. Today, salvation will enter into our heart. In the name of Jesus. Salvation of God will enter into your life of your family. In the life of your children. Salvation will enter. Salvation will enter. Salvation will enter. Salvation will enter. Salvation will enter into our life. Salvation will enter into our soul. In the name of Jesus. Salvation of God. Salvation of God. Salvation of Jehovah God. In the name of Jesus. We enter into our heart. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. The salvation of God will enter into our heart and change our life and transform our spirit, our soul for him and for the kingdom of him. For the spirit of love we enter into our life. Do you know what God demands of you? When you go to church, you clap your hand, you jump your hand. It's not about all that alone. Or when you fast, oh, fasting, I should have thrown one again. <laughs> Hallelujah. But very, very soon, I told us, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good for you, it's good for your body. Very, I told us that we're going to, you know, fast, and I'm seeing how it's going to, we're going to do it, that, hallelujah, yes, so, it's good. But what God demands from us is to do good to each other. So, encourage each other, build each other up, do just as you already doing. Even though there's one proverb, he told us keep your mouth. Don't secret of other people. Don't expose people. Ah, you know somebody's secret and you begin to talk about it. That many things is, it, 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 what God demands from us is a way of life. How to behave, how to do things. Not, oh, that don't, that don't count to God. <laughs> what counts is how to live a life, a life, a life. A, a, a Christian life is a life. You know that you ignore this. You, you do what is right to others. You do what is good. That's what they call a Christian life. A Christian life is to show love to others. That's what God demands. Someone can be speaking. Hey, bro, we share, we share, we share, bro. Doesn't matter. Share, bro, share, bro, bro. Even though sometimes I don't really know the difference. When the people, <laughs> I was asking somebody <laughs> one day. Say, oh. But all these things uh, about this speaking in tongues is something else. Because even the people in the movie, you know, doing their own, it sounds so somehow. <laughs> but, uh, I, I don't know. So, but that's not what God needs from us. I'm not saying you should not speak in tongues. The Bible told us we should speak in tongues. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says you are speaking mystery when you are doing it. You are saying something. Hallelujah. He told us to do what is good. That will help your prayer. If we say you have been praying all this while, do what is right. Act in the ways of Lord, and you see the grace. I pray that the Spirit of God to do all what God wants from us, ever will give to us in Jesus' name. Can I hear that? Amen. Ever will release that to you. Open your mouth and pray. Say, Lord, is your mercy that I need? Let your mercy journey with me. I, Makaili Masaida, open your mouth and pray. Moko peli basa. Then, Lord, in this journey of patete keta data tata that you have started today. Let your mercy, all your fear, can you lift a voice and begin to pray? Let the mercy of God journey with me. Oh, my candle, my side, the colia, the ketoli, the kutoli, my side, the toe. Somebody pray that prayer, the katata. 
Shatori Mikuto Kupa, let your mercy join it with me. Somebody pray that prayer. Open your heart to God, Lord Jehovah God. Let your mercy join it with me. Igada Gada Bagayala, Igada Bakiso Tolebe. Somebody pray that prayer that the mercy of the Lord join it with you. Somebody pray as you walk in this month, wherever I go, in anything I do, in anything I lay my hand, mercy of God, join it with me, I ask you, the mercy of you God, to join it, to go ahead of me, to follow me, to be with me, somebody pray, pray to God, that the mercy of God, to join it with you, as you're going to join it in this month, as you're going to join it in this year, that the mercy of the Lord, that the mercy of Jehovah God, to join it with you, can you lift a voice and begin to pray, ah, makapa tu kopelia, la kato sontori me sindoli me, Potori me kambara basa, kotori na sendo lebo. Open your heart to God. Let your mercy journey with me in Jesus' name. Our Lord, we pray. Open your heart and pray. Say, Lord, let your mercy go ahead of me and begin to clear the way. Every crooked place of my life begin to clear the way. Every stumbling block of hindrances that is only let the mercy of God go by fire. To begin to clear the way from, I'm coming through. You can't ayaba. Le sondo le meko peli se. I'm coming through. I'm going to get there. Indo yamakuso to your party. Every stumbling block that the mess of God set it on fire. Every entrance that be holding me, whatever that been pulling me back, pushing me back to failure. Mercy of God, set it on fire. Ah, lift the voice and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Mercy of God, go ahead of me, begin to clear the way. In the name of Jesus, clear the way for me. In the name, as I journey in this matter, somebody pray that the mess of God to journey with you. As you journey in this month, somebody pray. Open your heart and pray. Let the mess of God journey with me. Hey, Jesus name. Our Lord, we pray. Say, Lord, set it on fire. Let it come back. Every part I've been following me. But I've been following all this while. Do you remember that Pharaoh followed the children of Israel? Could they name? Until the Lord pushed him back. He never refused to let go. Even though he told them to go. But he himself said, no, you are not going. Until God of heaven set him back. He never pulled him back. Today, lift a voice. Whatever thing that been following me. Oh, oh, Pata, come back from me. Holy Spirit of God, set such power on fire. In the name of Jesus. Whatever thing that been following me, be kata kapata. Today let end come to it. Imborobo kapata kata. Rabato kuputana. Failure, you will not join with me in this one. Disappointment, you are not going with me. Ikapa shame, you are not going with me. Somebody pray in anama kata. Sendori meketeleba. Somebody open your heart to pray. Lift your voice and tell the Lord, it's not joining with you. 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 It's not joining with me. Spirit of failure, stagnancy. I break the covenant over my life. I break your power over me. Somebody pray. Ah. Ya kata kata go 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 to my bay ya ni a julaye le kato be go pete ke go to safuti that you run away from ah ah that refuse to go e kapatoria ma le kato be kete ya ba kati be kele bo la kata di basika ba o e kato di me kipari e dano ma jiza mo ya ya ma go pete la kato be kushe kere ya ba kunda di ma kunda di ya open your heart to God e kari ba she Open your heart to God. Lipo ribada. Let those things come back to there. Ikapate. Lipa ribada. Rabati kelebo. In Jesus' name, we pray whatever that has been put into my life. Bubudoti wano ayemi wano ni. Ikapa whatever thing that put upon me. Ikapa go shandu ribosai. Ripa, let the work cease today. 
Let the work of failure cease in my life. Let the work of ignorance cease in my life. In the Yabara, seek it there. Open your heart and pray. Those things must cease so you can get there. Pharaoh turn back before the children of Europe of Israel can be able to move forward. Pharaoh, Padal anyone, can one may swell the code of Tesuadu, ah, Lakaya, Makada, say Dodi Bekote, the Ebea. Those things that have been following you must turn back to the air. Ah, the Kapata, those things that have been following your children, those things that's in your family, that's in your life, must turn back by the power of the blood of Jesus. Ah, Makomba. Le kendo le bekete, robodo bakope le kete, la kato le bekete le bom. In Jesus' name, we pray. You know what Jesus Christ did for us? He only gave us power over Satan. It's not that his work of Satan has ceased, but he gave you power over it. As I said yesterday, Satan. There's a set time God has set for Satan, which God also he has known. He knew. And Satan knows that his time is short. Remember, he's a man that's supposed to live for eternity, but he's going to put, God is going to judge him and lock them up. He's a man that God released. You know, if you look at the book of Job, you see the conversation between Christ, God, and Satan. You see that he's not, there's no fight between them like that. You see where you're coming from. <laughs> so you think somebody that is a, they are fighting. Is it where you coming from? Because God is too much for him to just, it's too much. Say, where are you coming from? You, this very stubborn boy. So oh, I'm just up and down. Is that what the Bible told us? Some people say, oh, when Jesus resurrected, he has cut the devil off. The devil cannot go to heaven anymore. I don't think so. Because the Bible says, accuser always go before God. How did he show you up before God? The Bible told me, the accuser always go before God to accuse the brethren. So he's back. Believe still have access to the place. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says the accuser always go before God. Accuser. Who is the accuser? Satan. For time for the blood of Jesus Christ. So don't think. I'm not saying they, they are in tune. Satan, an instrument that they carry out, God allows sometimes to let to do whatever. If not God doing it, that's different things about that's different about it. It's not God doing the failure in your life. Is Satan that plan to kill to destroy? But God has nothing to do with that. But sometimes God just okay. This person want to kill. This person want to destroy. That's his mission. And he just okay. Do whatever you want to do because this boy don't listen. <laughs> but not God. So I want to do evil. No. But God knows that devil is an evil person. After he has pushed out of God, he has no good thing in him anymore. So God will allow him to do. What he's planning already to do. Now, why God, the, the security, the protection of God is around you. So Satan cannot touch you. Satan made that known to Job. That you have put an edge around him. There's a security around you as a child of God. But when we are going against God's law, doing, okay, so this man want to steal already. This man want to kill already. So we just unleash him go and do whatever you want to do him him go and do whatever you want to do but god is a good god oh but how god is a good god allow such a thing because he told you also that you should obey him hallelujah so satan is an instrument in the hand of god he's asking where are you coming from back and forth because he has no place anymore he's been pushed off he said, you see a friend of mine? He said, but listen, the man don't love you. The man don't love you. Why the man love you? Because of his blessing. The blessing that you are blessing him. That's why the man love you. And God said, okay, let me put him to test. Let's see. But God knows that he will not fail. Because he knows the beginning. Do you know that God knows that Job will not fail? He knows him. He knows everything from the beginning. He knows what Satan don't know. God knows that Job will never fail upon that test. He knows about your life too, that you're not going to fail because he sees it. He's going to strengthen you. He's going to uphold you. He knows God is not blind to the end. Is that not the God of heaven that speak the beginning of your life to the end of your life? He knows who you are. He told Jeremiah, before your father and your mother formed thee, I knew. Before now you became somebody that lives in the flesh. I knew you. 
I knew you about you before the man exists in the womb that he became given back to. No, God knew the person. I knew you. Because his own many signs God to him. He knows everything from the beginning of a man to the end of it. He sees it. He knows about your life. So if someone that knows about your life, you don't hide yourself from him. You surrender to him. I pray whatever thing that been following you today will turn back in Jesus' name. Can I hear that? Amen. Every battle of your dreams, every battle of your life will come to an end. Whatever that refuse to go, whatever Mr. Kapil that refuse to leave, Indo Yananda, whatever thing that refuse, you could patute, Shadori Makaya, Lekoli Nukute Kirubuta, Shauru Bakita, Haile Makinda, whatever thing that refuse to go, Ahanda di Mokobele, Holy Spirit will set it on fire. In the name of Jesus, whatever thing that refuse to leave, to depart from your family, help me part, help me battle, help me end of failure. Ah, makari masa sickness in the body. Ah, mikende le dokota yaba. Whatever thing that refuse to go, mo ya 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 kato koto. Repentori me kito kopele yaba. Itari pa shite le wam. Ebo we set it on fire. 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 Ebo we set your failure on fire. Ebo we set your sickness on fire. In the name of Jesus, your disappointment on fire, your lack and shame on fire, your disgrace on fire. In the name of Jesus, as on today, begin to have peace. In Kapata, open your mouth to pray. As on today, I, re I receive peace. Peace, in Kata. I, re I receive, I receive, Mubai, and Afia Noka. Ah, Mubai, and Afia Noka. Somebody pray, I receive my peace. Oh, Pamala, I receive my peace. Financially, you will not be trouble anymore. Spiritually, you will not be trouble anymore. Physically, you will not be trouble anymore. I receive that peace, oh God. Ah, they get available. Somebody pray, 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 pray. Ah, my kind of Messiah. I am calling the seal of I am a seal of the Messiah. Why am I calling the Messiah? Thank you, my father. It's, to, it's twice I hear this thing. Because I hear the second time, we say, I did two, maybe two, two, and, so, and second one, Ibrahim. I'm trying to peace up. I'm trying to, you know, so, 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 so. I'm, I'm just trying to see how this Ibrahim gets here. But I will not say Ab Abraham. I don't know, but I, I will not say Abraham. I say Ibrahim. Let's just say Ibrahim. Because if I want to put it to Hallelujah. I'm just going to leave it like that. Hallelujah. I pray that the hand of the Lord be upon you. Grace of the Lord follow your life. Grace of God locate you. Grace of God search you. Mercy of God locate your family. Ha 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 ha. Everybody lift your voice and say, Holy Spirit of God, give me a turn around. Holy Spirit of God. Somebody pray them. Give me a turn around for good. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lift your voice to Jesus. In this month, oh God, my Father, give me a turn around. Can we pray? Lift your voice. In this month, Jehovah God. Jehovah God. Give me a turn around. Lift your voice. Everyone must give you that turn around. In the name of Jesus. Ah, Makanduya. Matori Mashidaba. Somebody pray that prayer. Open your heart to God and die about in this month. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit of God. Give me a turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around over your children. Turn around. Turn around. Let your situation turn around. Ki I unto yoka. Kuji padasirele. Ikatayaya. Mayado bukushidia. La pandolime. Let heaven visit you. Somebody pray. Let heaven visit you. Somebody pray. Let heaven visit you. Let your heaven open. My father, give me a turn around. In Jesus' name. Our Lord, we pray. I've seen supernatural intervention where impossibility turned 
now being possible. I've seen that. Uh, yes, sometimes you probably if you want to feel weary sometimes and say, mm -hmm, the Lord is one of you. But when you look back, you say, okay, I've seen God. Yes, I've seen, I've seen supernatural things. The spiritual thing intervene and the physical things. So that's what I'm trying to say. So I've seen it. But sometimes, you know, you know, because of the situation, you just want to go. But that's why David defeated Goliath because he has seen it before with the bear ants killing a lion and bear. So when he informed of Goliath, he was saying, The Lord that delivered me from the hands of the lion. So you have seen the supernatural ordinary man grabbing a lion and beat lion to death, and and bears, you know, and beat both of those things to death. I grab them by their bears and I kill them. So it's not ordinary. So he was telling Goliath, "Listen, I've seen the supernatural hand of God that deliver me. The same God also is going to deliver me from you." And now the rest is a story. You know that God deliver him just with his stone. Remember, David is just ordinary man. He never been in war. That's the first time. He's not a man of war. But Goliath is a man of war from his youth. He had the total experience. He has everything to guide, to secure himself. But before David, he went flat because heaven made him to be flat before the day. So I've seen, I said, I've seen God. Sometimes we are tired. Sometimes you don't. Flashback. Ah, God, that if this this happened in the past, it's God that did it for me, because that's what this is. I want you to forget, forget of God's goodness. That's why David, God wants us to remind. That's why Holy Spirit wants you to remind of God's goodness, because in God's goodness, reminding of God's goodness, giving you strength to overcome the storm that is swinging up in your life. If you're able to forget God's goodness in the past in your life, you're not able to be a champion. Over the present one. Because in the past, you have the strength. What gave David the strength over the storm before him? Is the goodness of God that he recollected. That I have a flashback to. That gave him boldness. God that delivered me from the lions and bears. We deliver me from you. So don't forget the goodness of God in your life. Where God has opened the doors for you. Where you are before. He opened the channel of breakup. And all those little things. But when you begin to remember the goodness of Jehovah God in your life, you are a candidate for more. As you count the blessing of God in your life, to be sure more for you. To be sure more in your life. To be sure up. To be sure up in the life of Abdukeh. To be sure up in your life more. As you count God's blessing in your life. As you count God's goodness. In your life, your victory is certain as you join in this month. Heaven will open doors for you in the name of Jesus. The Bible told us in Malachi chapter 3, verse 10, say, Bring food tight into the house of God. You say, Pastor, are you talking about tight? If you love God so much, that will not be a struggle for you. You know that in the house of God, there must be a food there. Yes, I'm just telling you, tight should not be a struggle for the house of God. You know what church men do all those tight is when somebody has a need able to go into the church and they're able to bless them <clears throat> truly it's part for the pastor food pastor need to be you know chop chop food from the tight you know but also not only for the pastor alone but also the members and everybody coming to the church i have issue I have, so in that able to you know remember in the new testament people are selling their house to be able to take care of the brethren from far off Hallelujah. So he say you should bring it. I mean, not only tight, bring your life, bring everything about you. That may food be in my remember, he said, that may food be in my house. That mean that my house should not lack of anything. Thereby put me to test. I pray your heaven, whether it's not going to open the windows of heaven for you. Jesus was there. They are baptized, they are baptized. They, 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 at one point in time, Jesus being baptized. And Bible says, heaven open on him. Today, your heaven will open. 
as you journey in this month. I will kind my side. Mo ya ma kundori me kete ni bosa. Heaven will open on you. Favor will open on you. Blessing will open on you. In the name of Jesus. Favor will open on you. Ah, ma kaili basa. If you can able to put your right hand upon your head. And also if you can able to have all hair. Ah, ya ya ya. Le kento li me sende. Ma kandori me kete. If it's possible to get oil, it's okay. But you can do it later on. Ah, makori me shiraba. But the katori me kata. If the hand that you are, put that hand upon your head. Let heaven open on you. E kata yabagaba. Heaven open upon your life. Anda yabagaba. La sinto le beke lebon. La katori me sende lebon. Heaven open on you. E kata. Heaven open upon your family. E kapa darkness disappear. Heaven open on you. Heaven open on you. Over your life. Heaven open, Ikapa. You bear no mark, mark of grace. Bear no mark, mark of excellence. Ikapa of beauty, Ikata yabo of glory, Ikapa yaba mark of blessing, Ikapa yabo. Heaven open upon your life. Heaven open upon your life. Heaven open upon your life. In the name of Jesus, Heaven open. Oro le shisile, oshile fo asiyori, oshile fo ugo, oshile fo ibukon. Ni oru ko Jesus. Aha, makai makada lekete li mekete, bokuto li mekete lekali. Bakata, le kendo ni mese, bokumpeli ala, le kendo ni mekeleo, iko paru pata, le kesinto ni mese te, rabakate libo, heaven open upon you, heaven open upon your life, heaven open, iki rewe, omu sildade, ikata yadaba, bless not go, follow your life, follow your life, glory of God, rest on you, power of God, fill your life, in the name of Jesus, ikapata, ikate kebo, ikate libo, you enter in order of grace, you enter in the realm of grace, he cut a year, a pata, or your fair, or a pata, or palia year, he cut a little cat, he cut a old to a racatel, or in Jesus' name we pray. Listen, and it took you cool up, pata. So fear, I say, I'll have better no year. The Lord will push him off. The one that sit over your life. Conveniently, don't die here in Ogun. I told you, Kura Pata. But you told me, or on your shinidi. I bet me, you should talk back. I, my eye, my cider. He didn't call him a steel of a tari. He didn't make a cone of a cow of a steel of a tari. I didn't make a cone of a kusha libo. He kappa before the end of this month. Me call him a steel of a. Nino, he make a pele seteria. Shatari me kelia. The Lord will push that person off. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Or your shinidi. Ah, makata yaba. Rupoteli me kete kete. Sotori me kope di kate. Shadori me keli bukusa. Matori me saida. Thank you, my good God. In Jesus' name, our Lord will pray. The blessing of overflow. The blessing of glory. The blessing of a new things. Rest upon you. As you have lifted up your voice before God of heaven this morning, in the name of Jesus, heaven open upon your life, in the name of Jesus, heaven open on you, in the name of Jesus, heaven open upon your children, heaven open over your family, in the name of Jesus. As on today, you walk on that open heaven, not on that closed heaven anymore. The blessing of overflow, in the name of Jesus, rest upon your life. The blessing of overflow. Rest upon your life. The blessing of overflow. Rest upon your children. In the name of Jesus. The Bible told us in Exodus chapter 28 verse, 4, 28 verse 2. The Lord will open unto you his good treasure. In the name of Jesus. God of heaven will open unto you the good treasure. The heaven to give you the rain to your land in this season. And to bless all the works of your end. The Lord will open heaven to you in a good treasure. The good treasure of heaven shall open unto you. Access to God's blessing as unto thee. Say that, amen. Access to God's blessing as unto thee. Ni oru kwa jesu. Oya ni ano. Si mi bu kwa lorum. Ni ona. Si bu kwa lorum. Access to God's blessing. Access to God's favor. You will not die. You will not be robbed of it anymore. Your life and your children. Your family. In the name of Jesus. As unto thee, Job, I go with calm the effort of your life. He says he's going to bless you in the season and bless all the work of the end. In the name of Jesus. 
and you shall lend to nations. How many of you? He said, you shall lend to nations, but you shall not borrow. It's not God's will for his children. No, that's not the plans of God. You, you know, how much are you going to have to say nations stay? The Lord will open to you his good treasure. Have access today. Have access today. Kumi, have access today. In the name of Jesus. Iya, bandaya, ita kutari. As of today, let your life ask access to the supernatural of God's grace, of God's mercy, of God's favor. As of today, have access to God's blessing. The battle is over. Ikatayaba, the battle is over. The battle is over. Thank you, good God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Ask God what you cannot do that He can do for you. Below our own Joe Lishi, don't leave you for now. Ask the Lord what you cannot do that He can do for you. We are below our bed. Ask God what you cannot do that He can do for you. Ask the Lord right now. In my wish, I tell him I see the bar. Lord, let the life of this one full of testimony in the name of Jesus. Let heaven open unto you. Let grace of God's grace be upon your life. In the Yabaku Shandalabate, Zodo Mekunta di Parusa Telimashada. Thank you, my father. Aya Katoli Mekete de Besedia. Bumwe Bototin Dode, Kowafmo, Mikel Mesilbo Kada. Let it be delivered to you. Mentorima Shindalabo. Let it be delivered to your life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, my father. Iko to Nimasada, you cross to a new season. In the Nabashida Bokada, you cross to a new season. And and Benny, oh, wait, about two to two law. Koshele Kia Mire, Ikota Yemaye, Mashika Kako Kunfuayo, be filled with joy. Ika Padelia, but you will live, you will not die. Thank you, good God. Ilia Masai, the Bokutalia, but silver thalia. Ben, you see, in Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. To see, let me look at it. I don't think I've seen such. I don't know. I can see it. The like K S A, but I'm trying to look at it. K S A. Hallelujah. I know there is L in it. It's in there. I pray that Lord Jehovah God will do great things in your life. Heaven open on you. Can we give God the praise and shout hallelujah? Can we give God the praise and shout illegal hallelujah? In the name of Jesus. Thank you for God's blessing. Thank you for your grace, O oh God. A thank Holy Spirit. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. You probably say, eh, Pastor, you want to eat bread? No. A bread, a bread, a bread, a bread. Bread. But Jesus represents bread and bread. Maybe after I finish, I go and eat bread. I don't know. But uh, there's a bread. And Jesus said, He is the bread of life. Where your life will be sustained. Strength will come. When you eat, strength come. Life come upon you. Jesus Himself, the bread of life, leads Himself to your life. Everything today that is dead will come back to life. In the name of Jesus, strength. When you eat, strength come. Strength of God enter into you. 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 Strength of God enter into your life. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Can we give God a praise for that blessing of God for the journey into this month? And I know he that you know started a good work in you. We let you finish the year and this decade. You have not only set for years, you are set for the decade. You will come out of the decade. This is the very decade that you have entered. 
you will come back. I don't set it for you again. You will come out of the decade. We only have 23 remaining seven in that decade. You will come out of it. When you add seven to your years, you know what it is. Add seven to that your year. Your age now. Add seven to it. Seven remaining. Add it. You know. Ah. Add it, but you will come out of it. Hallelujah. You will come out of it. In the good health. So shall it be. In Jesus' name. Our Lord will pray. Amen. 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 Today is Wednesday. And also, I encourage you, you can join our Bible discussion on... Um, I call it Bible discussion. I'm not saying it's about because you know we allow people to talk. You know you can share your opinion. I said now nah, I will not say Bible study like that you know, because it's Bible study. I just come with a teaching, and after that you have the questions. So the question being thrown, we are looking at the book of Romans together, just to have an understanding of what God says through His Word. So you can join us on on the Zoom, and also on YouTube. And uh, if I know if you request. I can open there's nothing it costs nothing to open the the app also you can listen to the app or to the phone to the friend if I know people know the gear um, that it costs nothing I just put it in front of me you know so if you request the made I open the shower of blessing which is the app itself you can download you can download and listen to every prayer and uh, you can do that on any phone also on the phone if I make if they request for it. There's nothing that but you only do it to YouTube and also to the Zoom so you can participate. And no don't you don't you God will God do great things. Someone that can join on Facebook can also join on YouTube, right? You can if it's in the same streamline, YouTube just search it. You know, you will just join. The Lord you will God will do great things in your life. Let me just say a new life. A new beginning of your life in the name of Jesus. Father, we cover that water by the blood of Jesus. We say through this water, we ask for healing and deliverance. Let everyone that is sick be healed. Let everyone believe in God for the fruit of the womb, oh God. Remember them. Remember every family, remember every life. And those that you have given to us, oh God, let your grace cover them at the end. Your name shall be glorified in Jesus' name. We pray. You will come out of this month with the testimony. Say that, Amen. I'm going to come out of this month with the testimony. That's what's going to be your portion. You're out of this month. You are coming with a testimony. You are coming out of this very month with a testimony. This month, coming out of it, your testimony with it. Thank you, good God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 You are blessed. Thank you, God. Thank you, everyone. God bless you. Bye-bye.